Strange trinkets and magics that defy understanding provide a chance against the unending demon hordes. These blue vials contain a shimmering liquid that restores the body, cuts and bullet wounds close, burns flake away, gruesome injury bubbles and warps back into flesh and bone. Poisons and evil magics are purged from veins that refill constantly with the blood new. Each sip from the potion gives a dose of magic, commonly referred to as blues. As long as you have this magic energy in your body, it will keep your blood level topped up and will exchange your blues to passively remove your permanent wounds, burns, and aggravated damage over time. The amount of weight you can carry also increases the higher your blue level. So the blue potions give you a normal dose. But grabbing one of these strange spheres with the complete captured essence of a living soul dumps an incredible amount of blues into your system. After some time, the magic in your system starts to influence your surroundings. Life springs forth from rock and metal and hellstone. Demons rise from death and fight on your side, enthralled by magic that turns them against their allies, while burning out the evil within their bodies. These are magical spiritual helmets that bind themselves to your soul and provide a barrier that deflects killing blows in battle and nearly eliminates bleeding. It does not make you invulnerable. You can still definitely be killed. And it isn't permanent. So having magic armor is not an excuse for being stupid. You can be confident, but don't be reckless, because attacks that cause enough damage will punch through the spirit armor and kill you immediately. The Mastermind and Cyberdemon will not be the first ones to teach you this lesson. This artifact here is a weird one. It summons three spirit soldiers that attack and draw the attention of hostile demons. They can walk through walls to attack the enemy. And while their guns don't cause that much damage, they do stun lock very well and remove shields at the same time.